Hey, what's up, everybody? Appreciate you guys tuning in for another, you know, episode of Community Voices. What's up? You know, really excited about having La on with us today. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I just want to know, you know, drop in the comments who you want to see on Community Voices. That's what I want to know. Drop in the comments. You know, who, who's copping the who's copping the Yeezys tomorrow? I know I'm gonna take that L. Okay, I see you, Andrew. Store still open, yes. Anything in size 15? You can check the website. I've definitely seen some size 15s. Where the else? And if you don't know, I'm the Senior Cultural Partnership Strategist for Finish Line because I feel like I have to say that each time because we get new and new people into the live. What's up, Cass? Hold on, we got a lot in here. Let me add it real quick. What's up? What's up? Hey, what's up, Lon? What's up, Oh, What's going on? You know, I'm chilling, you know, the usual, another episode of Community Voices. Thank That's you for so taking good. the time out. Yeah, what you up to? Working, chilling, seeing what y'all got. Any exclusives over there at the finish line? You got, you got any exclusives <laughs> over there? What we doing? What, what we doing? No, I think, I think what we got dropping it tomorrow is those Yeezys, some V2s, a new colorway, you know. Okay. I, I, for I, right now. People, I keep saying, finally, people are going to start putting some respect on my sneaker collection. Now, I I've seen it. I, I, I see, I've seen it. It's, it's definitely, you know. Okay, good. Because I people feel need like to I'm stop sleeping. Like I've been the respect that I <laughs> What's up, everybody, for checking in? I just What's stopped up? in here to talk to O real quick. Yeah, so let's get into it. Oh, your is bad. Hold on. Let me. Come nah, Go ahead. Sorry, the connection my phone. was bad. Nah, all good. So yeah, you know, through your foundation, La La Land, La La Land Foundation, you know, your purpose is to you know help the community, especially the youth, develop confidence mm -hmm. and you know create opportunities for them. So can you tell us more about the foundation in general and just you know what inspired you to create it and help the kids? Well, you know, I, I'm always about helping and giving back. So I wanted to put myself in a position where I can help kids who come from, you know, inner cities. I wanted them to feel good about themselves, to have amazing opportunities. So mm -hmm. one of the things we do is a day with food and performances to 300 kids in the Bronx. So that's just like an idea of one of the things we do. But whenever it's about inner city kids and giving back, providing, you know, laptops and computers and just making them feel special. I get such a joy out of that and giving back to my communities. To me, there's no greater feeling. Like, what's the point of being in the position you're in if you're not giving back? So definitely always focus on that. A heavy, heavy focus on women empowerment and making sure that women are living to their true potential and finding their purpose and their passion. All those things are super, super um, important to me. Yeah, definitely got to, you know, pay it forward as you, you know, find success and things yeah. like that. It's, it's so important. Like I said, help, there's no greater feeling. So can you help educate us on, like, you know, some of the issues or problems that kids in, in the city may be facing, like, you know, today? Mm -hmm. Um, it's kind of, can you hear me? Oh, cause it's kind of going in and out. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. No, I was just going to say, you know, I think a lot of kids in general just want to feel like somebody believes in them. You live in a world where you're constantly, constantly being told that you can't do this or you're not going to be this or you're dreaming too big. And I think it's important for people like myself and people in positions like me to let these kids know you can be anything that you want to be in your environment or how you grew up doesn't define who you're going to be or how far you're going to go in this world. That's so important. So I want to be an example of that and constantly 
put that message out there to just encourage young kids and, and young women that they could do the same thing. Yeah, for sure. And I feel like, especially with foundations, just, you know, everything really starts with confidence and being able to go out in the world feeling good about yourself and what you do and ready to face, mm -hmm. like, the different challenges that are out there. So, mm -hmm. and then, how, what do you think are, like, some of the steps for people to help some more support these communities? I think, you know, I think a lot of times, oh, people are like, well, I don't have a lot of money. What am I supposed to do? Helping your community or helping someone out doesn't necessarily involve money or having a lot of money sometimes people just need a positive word sometimes people just need you to tell them like i support you you can do this sometimes people just need to see an example of someone doing good in their community so doing good in your community doesn't mean you have to have all this money and that's the only way you could do it everyone can take little steps just asking somebody hey how are you doing today how's your mental health how are you feeling mm -hmm. those things don't cost anything and go a long way we're living in a world of chaos right now just all around us you know and people are unraveling so just checking in with kids in your communities checking in with young adults in your communities that goes a long long way so everything doesn't have to have a check or a price tag you know attached to it right and then I remember I helped volunteering your last event at Gaucho's yeah thank holiday. you so so yeah so take us through that and how you know basically the feedback and how mm -hmm. the kids kind of received it they love it. I mean, they, the kids are like, it's summer jam for us. I mean, one year we had like <laughs> a boogie. I mean, the, the names are a boogie. Young and May 6 9 came through that year. Little Yachty was there. Oh, my. Oh, it was so many performances. I'm just blanking out because so many people came. But it's just amazing to be able to make these kids feel special. And Christmas time, for a lot of people, that's a happy time. And for a lot of kids, it's not because, you know, their families are struggling or they might not have certain things. So to be able to give sneakers to everybody, to be able to give gifts to people and just make them feel special on that one day really mm -hmm. goes far. And I know it's an event that the kids look forward to all year, all year round. So the Winter Wonderland is important. And I want to continue to bring such positivity into the communities um it's important and i love just seeing how much fun the kids have we have dancing competitions mm -hmm. we just, it's just like a day of just nothing but fun yeah and i think you know some of the conversations that happening right now with like all these donations from like 200 million dollars 100 million dollars going to like you know black communities I feel like no one really knows where it's going exactly so you know here at finish line we want to be able to like connect with you know foundations like yourself and really, you know, show some type of transparency as well. Like, this is where the money is going. So, right. you know, it brings me great joy, especially Finish Line, to be able to, you know, donate 20000 to your foundation. Oh, that's awesome. You know, that's awesome. Call, and know, one thing you Christian. know, oh, is that it's going to be used in the right way. It's going to bring so much joy to so many families and kids. And that's what it's about. Once we could get back rocking out of this COVID thing, I just want to do mm -hmm. a huge celebration. I mean, people just want to get out they, they just want to get out so thank you and thank the finish line from the bottom of my heart because i know i'm a person that can really make good on that and really bring some some joy to people that that need it yeah for sure you know i've seen it firsthand you know the joy you put on the kids you faces, were there so. <laughs> and you always so, yeah, help you, know. you always first up whenever we need anything so for that i i appreciate you and shout out to everybody in the comments showing so much love i appreciate that um and uh, thank you. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. Cool. Well, um, yeah. Thank and who you knew for you were such a good interviewer? You, I learned something Not, yeah. about you every day. <laughs> who knew? I try. I just watch a lot of uh, a lot of people like yourself doing it, or TJ, and just you know try to pick up little pieces and you're you know, good at it. Do my well, best. Oh, so. thank you. Um, I'm still looking for some exclusives. You know what I mean. So whatever you got. <laughs> Send it over my way. I got you. you know, I'm going to call away. So whatever. Whenever All right. And whatever you guys need. I appreciate that. From behalf of me and my entire foundation um, and, and La La Land Inc., um, we just appreciate you so much. So thank you so much, Oh, And I know we'll talk soon. For sure. And shout All out right, to everybody cool. watching you. The Shy. I appreciate that, too. Make sure you check me out on The Shy on Showtime. I see a lot of people in the comments talking about it. Um, Sundays on Showtime, The Shy. That's the new show I'm on, and it's, it's been taken off. So thanks for all the love and support on that as well. Perfect. Yeah, definitely watch, tune into that. 
And um, yeah, I'm sure you're shooting still today. So of course, appreciate you, know, you taking like, this ten minutes like, out. I gotta talk to O real quick. <laughs> you think I'm in the kitchen, but right over there is a whole camera set up and everything mm -hmm. like that. So I appreciate it, O, and we'll talk soon. Thank you so much. For sure. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.